Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Timberborn. So we're continuing where we left off last time and we're currently 1.9 days away from the next drought. And when the drought happens, basically the water dries up and everything goes brown and dies. So we're currently stockpiling. You can see we've got a load of beavers farming carrots. We've got young Kimberly here who's just 12 but is already carrying boxes of carrots about. Oh, and if we look down here, we've got two lumberjacks cutting down our first ever maples. So that's Zach and OC Deer. And all my furry little friends in this game are named after my Patreons, with the top tiers selected at random. And look at this, you can see we get eight logs for every single maple tree we cut down. It's quite impressive that the log goes from massive on the ground to a little bit smaller when he's on his shoulder. The power of beaver engineering. Anyway, looking down here, we've had a load of our beaver children grow up, but really, really sad news, guys. I'm afraid we're only a minute or so into this video. We've got our first death already. Travis Hyper has died of old age. I am very sorry, but you, you really did contribute to the colony, so you will not be forgotten, sir. All right, anyway, we need to, we need to get cracking. We've got three unemployed beavers, as you can see here. So I'm going to come to farmhouse and we're going to up the number of farmers same for this one so that should mean we dig up carrots a bit quicker uh, it also looks like we could use a bit more water so we've got three beavers pumping their logs within these buildings but the trouble is our our beavers are carrying water so what i'm going to do i'm going to click this prioritize building by haulers for all three of these and then if we come over to our hauling post i'm going to add another hauler so now egb jalcon and aaron mackie they're all going to prioritize collecting water because that's what we need for the dry season in case this river dries up we need to store lots of water and looking at our tank so far we've got four nearly five completely full but the other five nowhere near so we definitely need to do some more collecting of water here you can see you can see our haulers they've got barrels of water on the back so they'll just be taking the water from the pumps to the storage right and you can see over here we've got we've got housing for our beavers now so they should be a bit more happier that is fantastic you can see we've had some new births as well uh, the beavers when they're born they sort of just come out and sleep yeah but it is night time now so i guess that's fair and look, there's a little baby sleeping. Who's that? That is Fudderpud. Fudderpud or Fudderpud? I don't know. All I do know is you're one cute ass beaver. Right, it's another morning and it seems once again we've had another death. Virex Hellstrom, he died of old age. He did not make it through the night. Uh, but Jordan Miller, Matt Nichols, Pranity and Blue Fire Wolf, they've all grown up. Which means we've got a load of unemployed beavers. So I'm going to put them in the hauling post. So let's up that. And then I'm also going to come up here. So this increases the beaver's working hours. So as it's the last day before the dry season, we're going to put that up to 24 to really try and stockpile our water. Now in the meantime, we're going to sort of plan ahead. So while they're all doing that, we're going to fast forward. Now let's sort of plan out what we want to do next. Oh, but look at this. It's, it's the dry season. The drought has started. It's going to last four days. And thankfully, we did that really well and that we completely filled our water storage. So as you can see here, the water has stopped. So I'm going to pause these three water pumps. Now, I'm also going to pause this lumberjack. And what I've done here, so basically, this water is keeping everything green here. Because it's at the same level, the area of effect is pretty wide all the way up to there. If we were to keep pumping the water, this would go down. And then eventually the water would be used up, so all this green would go brown. Like up here. So because the river has dried up up here, all these trees have now died. They'll be okay once they get replenished with water. But if I were to leave this lumberjack flag going, and the beavers carry on cutting down these trees, then uh, they'd just be stumps. They wouldn't ever grow back. So it's important to only cut down trees when they're green if you want them to grow back. Uh, thankfully, we've still got a load of birch down here that we can cut. So that's all good. We can keep collecting wood. Uh, right. In the meantime, as we were saying, we need to start planning ahead. I want to go for the scrap metal, I think. Right. And in order to do that, we're going to need 250 science points for a scavenger flag. And then 300 science points for the shredder. But that also needs a gear. And we haven't unlocked gears yet. So gears are that which need 100 science points. But it also needs 120 power. And I think this water wheel only produces... Oh, it produces 180. Okay, so we could put a gear workshop. If we unlock that. So yes, we'll unlock that for 100 science. So we'll plug that there. And as you can see there, it shares power with adjacent buildings. Because they're all connected, I don't think... I'll need to play with any shafts. No, no, children. No laughing. Essentially, how the shafts work is when this is spinning. Obviously, this isn't spinning anymore because the river is not flowing. But when this spins, you can see it's connected in there. And that provides power to the building. 
if I wanted to get power up there... Oh, look, it's moving again. Yeah, you can see that spins around, produces power, causes the lumber mill sort of turn. Yeah, but if we wanted to extend power, we'd have to use these. So they're like different sorts of shafts. So I could like stick one in there. Like you can see how it's connected with the gear and then just do like an arm over to this or something. But I think because they're all connected, that should just be good as it is. Uh, the other thing I'm going to need, I'm going to need quite a bit of science. So this is our inventor's hut and we're producing three science every however long. Now I think we could do with producing more. So let's come to science and let's build another one or maybe another two even. So I think we'll put two there and then we'll have two more scientists because we've got a lot of people now. So it should be fine. Meanwhile, as we're in the dry season, do I pause these tanks? The water situation, 220. I think we'll need to keep an eye on that. Definitely. Now I'm going to up the builders. So we got Maru and Omka. They're joining Ryan Reynolds and Joe the Smiter as our builders. Uh, but oh, look. Everyone's sleeping. And they literally sleep anywhere. On paths, in the forest, in the fields, in the tree stumps. Yeah, but most people, they sleep in the actual housing. There should only be three homeless beavers, <laughs> according to this. Um, so I don't know why everyone's chosen. Oh, I know why they've chosen. Because I've, I've kept 24-hour work hours on. Oops. <laughs> I'm going to reduce that to 12 hours. So that makes our beavers use less water and food. Which should mean they don't just collapse from exhaustion. Uh, but they also use less materials. Meaning we should survive the dry season a bit easier. Oops. Sorry about that, beavers. <laughs> Alright, so that's sorted. They're getting sorted. That'll get us more science. And then we'll plan up here to start looking at our metal. So we're going to want the scavenger flag. So we'll shove that right next to it. Maybe even two of them. Why not? And oh no, Chloe has died of old age. Oh, Chloe. Look. <laughs> there she is. She was age 53. I love that the other beavers are just like, yep, carry on. <laughs> oh, and she's she's dissolved into the path. The circle of life. <laughs> oh, look, if you click on a path, it shows you the popular beaver song. Country roads, take me home to the lodge. I belong. <laughs> Ew, that was horrible. How's our water looking? It's not looking the best, but it still says we're over 200. So I'm not going to panic yet. Oh, we've just had a load of new births. So you should see they'll run out and then they'll just collapse somewhere. Yep. <laughs> so random. So random. Right, we've now got six homeless beavers. So it's potentially worth making another barrack. Now, as we found out last time, if the beavers have somewhere to stay, their life expectancy increases by 20%. So uh, it, it is well worth doing, I think. I think we'll plonk that one right there. Right in the corner. There is a stump in the way, but I think I can just path over that. Boosh. Lovely. All right, here we go. We've got two new scientists. Huck Bear 424. Look at the science he's producing. So much speed. And Montana Williams also beavering away in there. Uh, although, oh, shit. All right, let's pause a second because water is down to 83. We've still got 1.4 days left. I don't know how long that is on the bar of the breeding progress, but I'm going to pause these because we don't want four new mouths to feed. Not yet. Uh, these other ones, I'll leave them going because their bar's quite a way off. Oh, no. No, I'm going to pause them, actually, because I just remembered they, they do actually use up water and berries. So if I pause them, that will make sure they're not being used. Because, yeah, look in our water tanks. They are empty as anything. Well, look how many beavers we have now. This is awesome. This is so cool. Oh, and... <gasps> Oh, scrap metal scavenger flag. We actually have a worker. Sonolco. Where, where is Sonolco? Let's click. He's back. Apparently he works at the scavenger flag. But, oh, no. Okay, okay. So you, you can see this little dot here. That's when the working day finishes. And this arrow, that's where we are on the day. So the working day starts in the morning, but it finishes then. So he was, he was just doing his own thing. He wasn't meant to be working. It's fine. Uh, but he's just grown up looking down here. So that's his first job. Out of school. Collecting scrap metal. <laughs> nice. Alright, so we've just fast forwarded through another night. You can see all of our beavers leaving their barracks now. There's so many. This is so cool. Uh, I am very worried about the water situation though. You're on about 30. You've got a whole day to last. I'm wondering if it's worth turning a pump or two on. I don't really know. Look at this. Who's that? Lagomorph. He's literally just sat on his ass. But uh, to be fair, it's, it's not his fault. So the guy over here, who's that? That's... Felix. He's, uh, he's also sat on his ass, and that's because we've got no power. So these guys literally can't do anything. Uh, I could pause them and put them... Yeah, I tell you what, I'm going to do that. I'm going to pause 
both of these and put them on a different job. So one is now unemployed. So can we make you... We'll make you a hauler. There you go, Lagomoth. You're now a hauler. Oh, God. And also, our storage is full. We're going to have to build another storage. Oh, man. Look at me. Logs we got stacked under there. Oh, no. The logs are full now. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, okay. So what we're going to do, we're going to... Because I want to store more logs, definitely. So we'll come down to here, storage. And we'll build another industrial log pile. But we'll rotate it that way. And we'll come into here, paths and structures. And we'll build steps up to it. So now we've doubled our storage there. And then I think we'll just put another small warehouse. Maybe just there. That looks... That fits pretty well. All right, so you can see we're now completely out of water. But it's only 0.3 days till the end of the drought. So the rain will come, do not worry. In fact, I feel like that's probably a good time to turn these back on. So water pumps away. And I may as well turn these on as well. The gear workshop and the lumber mill. Ready for when the rain comes again. Yeah, I'm also going to drop the haulers down uh, just to fill all those jobs. So Aaron Mackey in there. Matt Nichols in there. EGB, Jalcon and Peronity. Sweet. We're all good. We've got one unemployed beaver. So we're going to gonna make you a hauler, Jordan. All right, and as it's very nearly the wet season, we will up the working hours back up to 16. That's standard for beavers. That's like, For humans, it sounds like quite a lot. But for beavers, that's nothing. I'm actually going pretty easy on them. All right, so it's a new morning. The sun is rising. And look at all of our beavers, even their barracks. It's a beautiful sight. All bustling away, ready to get to work. Now, they're actually all really thirsty. But I think that'll be okay. I think as soon as these guys start pumping their logs. Yeah, look at that. EGB is a pro at pumping his log. These guys were still waiting for the water to come. So if we head over here, you can see the water is gradually flowing down. If we speed up, you can see it's reviving the trees. Lovely. Yeah, but the wheels won't start spinning until the water flows over the dam. There we go. Lovely jubbly. We are back in business, people. I'm going to unpause this lumberjack flag. So Dragon Eye's gone up there. Yeah, and it's his first job. He's literally, he's only six. He's already a lumberjack. All right, so you can see they're stacking logs up here now. We've got our steps built. So we're going to have so many logs, which means we should probably start building some stuff. So this storage is filling up so quick. I might have to do another one. Let's do one there and we'll do a path around the back of it like that. And then we could potentially go up. We could multi-story one of them, maybe. But uh, hopefully that'll do. That'll do. Oh, we need to we need to unpause our next generation as well. I forgot about those. All right, there you go, breeding pods. You can see the beavers are bringing water and berries over because that is how you create life for this colony. All right, over here, you can see, look, Felix is beavering away collecting scrap metal. So this ruins, it has has about 20 scrap metal in it. So there's a lot of scrap metal there. So you can see up here in our resources, we've got over 50 scrap metal. So I think, assuming we've got the technology, we can afford a shredder. We need 10 more science because that costs 300 science points. Uh, we're going to unlock the shredder now because we've got 311 science points. We can afford that. Yes. And whoa, look at it. <laughs> That's cool. Uh, hang on. So how much power does it need? 250. That's like two water wheels. But I tell you what, I've got I got a bit of a plan up my sleeve. Because I don't really want to try and fit two water wheels in there. I'm sort of saving up for this, the engine, which will produce 200 HP. That should be BP. I, I'm standing by that comment. That should not be HP. It should be beaver power. Uh, but that requires 20 logs, 25 gears, and 20 sheets of metal. So I was sort of thinking, maybe I could build a load of power wheels which produce 50 each oh god so i'd need a crap ton of those or just two now nah, I'm, I'm gonna have to do water wheels i'm gonna have to do water wheels can i stack these in a the line so i don't know how this works i don't even know how to fit these in all right I'll tell you what what if we put one there and one there and then we'll put our shredder building there we'll build our path to it lovely we'll spin around and what I'm going to do, I'm going to put... This is going to please a lot of people. But we're going to put some shafts in. <laughs> so we've got a bendy shaft. So that goes there. And then we've got a straight shaft. So that goes there. So I'll provide power to our shredder. So let's get that going. We'll prioritize that as it's the furthest one away. Right, we've got seven unemployed beavers. Blimey, what's going on? Right, haulers. Everyone can be haulers. Thankfully, there will be loads of jobs once this is open. Well, one job, maybe. <laughs> uh, oh, and up here... I've noticed we've cut down the trees so we can extend our path. So if we build our path like that, then that should extend this range. Oh, it doesn't quite extend the range. I want to cut down these maple trees because that's a lot of logs. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to build some more lumberjack flags up here. So if we come down to wood, we can go into lumberjack flag. 
And we can build one of those there. And is that in range to be built? Yes, it is. That goes all the way up there. Nice. All right, so Little Brown, our forester, I've told him to plant maple trees now because I feel like we've got enough wood from the birch and the pines are going to grow back. So if we get all these planted, then we can go back to these ones. Because as you already know, the maples, although they take longer to grow, you get so many more logs out of them. All right, and look at this, look. So our power wheels are done. You can see how the shafts work now. We've got some nice gearage going on. Surprisingly, you don't actually need gears from the gear workshop to be able to create the power shafts. Very surprising. Uh, but anyway, how far along is that? So we're filling it up with planks. We need a load of scrap metal. Why is there no scrap metal getting to it? We've got so much scrap metal. Is that because it's so far? Oh, there you go. They're filling it up now. Right, so that'll be built in no time. This is going really well. I'm thinking, though, it might be time to start increasing our water supply. Because I know the next dry season is going to be even longer. And potentially, we're going to have even more beavers as well. So if we come down to water, as we've got the science, maybe we should do that, which is a large water tank. So that stores 300 water compared to just the 30 of the small water tank. It does cost a lot more to build, 30 planks and 20 gears, but uh, space could be getting a bit tricky, so I'm going to do that. So we'll unlock that, yes please. And oh, look at this big boy. <laughs> what a beast. And it fits in there almost perfectly. Oh God, we've had so many new births. So many new births. Right, and we're actually in the point of the game where there's nearly more beavers than there are top tier Patreons. So some of you, like this little fella here, annoyingly, RCE is secretly an architect. Uh, although they died, they have been reborn as a new beaver. So congrats, I guess. <laughs> you bastard. Uh, meanwhile, storage is full again. Uh, that's because we got so much food we got all the food so let's have a look at storage is it worth doing a large warehouse that's 80 planks we don't really have the capacity to make that many planks we currently have one <laughs> and i know that this thing takes 30 planks this one 50 but it's nearly complete actually oh it's very nearly complete uh, but also the gears take planks to make gears we also don't have enough science points to build the large warehouse anyway so i think we will just build a small warehouse and i think we might just build it on there you might be asking, why have you built it on there? You can't get up there. Well, yes, we do need to build stairs up. You are quite right. So we'll do that, and then we'll do our path around, and then we have to do a path from there. Because look, we need handrails on top for it to be safe. All right, nice. And for the first time, it looks like we're actually farming all of our carrots before the previous ones start growing again. Which is particularly surprising, considering Mondu Calera sat on their ass doing nothing. Yeah, but that's not their fault, to be fair. Oh, and look, actually, the carrots up here, they are growing back again. So we could actually squeeze in another farm if we want to farm all of these carrots. All right, so looking up here by our maple trees, no one has a job here. So what I might do, I might pause one of these. So OC Deer, you're now fired. But now you work up here, OC Deer, and he's already straight to work chopping down the maple tree. That's eight logs for each one. I'm actually going to prioritize that by haulers as well. Uh, just so that he doesn't have to take the logs away. Because I do want him to log all this. And I'll tell you what, I feel like we could use another forester. Maybe in there we could put another forester. Because what the forester does, that allows you to plant all of these trees. I think all of these stumps, they're, they're just a leftover. They don't actually turn into a new tree unless they get planted on. So you can see with the massive area we've got, we're never actually going to keep up. All right, and look at this. Our shredder is built. Look at that. That is decent. So Adam Bond works in here and he turns two scrap metal into one metal block. That is lovely because once we have the metal block, we can then create an engine, which is unique to this faction. So that's very cool. But yeah, with our foresters, I'm going to tell them to plant up here. Yeah, so Dragon Eye is the lumberjack up here and he has just gone to town destroying that. So let's come into this plant trees and bushes and we can say replant all this and we're going to say do it with maple lovely so logs are flying water's flying is our big tank built yet no i'm gonna i might prioritize that next actually so we're waiting on gears and planks i thought that might be the case i feel like that's what i'm going to use my engine for i'm gonna prioritize making more planks and more gears because aaron Mackey and matt nichols they're they're doing the best but it's quite a long process we could do with more of those Oh, wow, we've got we've got 10 haulers in here. Look at all these guys. Butterpud, Bongo, Flutternutter. Sorry, I couldn't, I couldn't fit the R in your name. I did try. <laughs> all right, so our farmers, again, are doing nothing. And that's because the storage is full. So we really need these stairs complete. I've just put them on high priority. 
But once they're done, we can get to this small warehouse, you know, which should just provide a bit more storage. Everything needs planks. I'll tell you what, I might pause gears for the time being. Do we need gears for anything? I'm guessing we do, because he's producing them and they're not being stored. Oh god, and it's three days until the next dry season. Water's still not great. I really need to prioritise this water tank. That's what we need the gears for. Okay, so yeah, definitely don't pause the gears. Oh, look, a load of our Generation 2 have grown up. Nice, so we've got seven unemployed beavers. We've got too many beavers. Okay, I'm actually going to pause these. I feel like it's getting a bit out of control. Because no one has died of old age in ages. I'll tell you what I might do as well. I might build another water pump. The question is, where, where will that fit? Oh, look, one fits in there. Yeah, we'll do that. We will do that. And we'll do a little path to that as well. All right, so that's another job. Samuel Valdez, good work. He'll be the next beaver to get paid to pump his log. Yeah, but yeah, so for this dry season, I think food is going to be... Is there like... Are there any graphs where I can see like what I'm making? And no, not really. That would be useful if you could see like your incomings and outgoings. Oh, ooh, ooh, what's happened here? Some of my graphics have disappeared. All right, this is an early alpha. And thankfully, they've got this down here. A little bug reporter. All right, unfortunately, we didn't build our big water tank in time. We couldn't get enough gears, and it's the dry season. You can see up here, the river is drying up once again. So I'm going to quickly pause all of these water pumps, and then we're a little bit screwed for now, just a little bit. I am actually going to plant some more berries, though, as we got two foresters. I'm going to say plant bushes, and we're going to say all of this needs to be planted berries. So all these grey ones, they will be planted, because they don't exist yet. So that's good. And you know what? This little gap here. We'll make them berries as well. Try and maximise our green area. Right, I am very concerned we don't have enough water. 260 to try and last 52 beavers. We've got 13 unemployed beavers. We need more jobs. We've got a lot of wood though. So perhaps we can just start prepping for the future. Oh, I've really... I feel like I've cocked this up. I've got too many beavers. Damn you beavers. Now, the good news is we've pretty much got the resources to build an engine. Now, gears could be an issue though. We are really not creating gears very fast. A few more hours and we'll have the science points to unlock the engine. So we'll do that. And then I think this area here, this like plateau, this will be our sort of industrial area. I've right, just done a load more houses just because we've got loads of logs. Like look at all those logs. We've got, we've got to use them up, surely. So a load of barracks there. That's all good. That will house our beavers. And as we're lacking jobs, I might build a builder flag or two. Oh, no, I can't, because that requires 100 science. We could do another... Yeah, let's do another hauling post. And we'll plonk that there. So we may not have builders, but at least we'll have haulers. But, uh, but look, there's still so many homeless beavers. We've got 12 homeless beavers. Maybe I should prioritise the barracks. I just don't know. I just don't know. Look at them all sleeping. <laughs> Who is that? Oh, it's you. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Oh, bloody hell, our water is looking like half full. We're only a quarter of the way through the dry season. I feel like there could be a culling about to happen. Let's turn the working hours way down. Maybe just two hours a day. Because I'm pretty sure, I'm not I'm not actually 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure the beavers drink less water if they're working less. But I could, could be completely wrong there, if I'm honest. I'll tell you what I need to do. I need to start work on the mega dam. If we build a dam in front of that, that'll be loads of water. And we can probably keep that pumping. But it's going to require a lot of platforms and things. I mean, or we could. We could just dam down here. Make this our next green area. Oh, yeah, we could do that. Maybe we should do that. Expanding down. All right, yeah, I'm going to get to work. While all that's sort of going on, we'll keep it fast forwarding and just hope that the water lasts. <laughs> I was going down so quick. Now, but I'm going to plan how to get down here. So we're going to need platforms to build our steps on. So one there and one there. Okay, that's good. And then stairs. Oh, one up there, one there, one up there, and one there. And then we can just path between those. And then we can just path all the way down to there. And then we've just got to decide where does the dam go. I sort of think we may as well make the most of this. Maybe do it across that bit. So if we do our path to there for now. And oh god, look at the water. We're only halfway through. Oh, this is really bad. This is really, really bad. Okay, I'm going to turn on a pump. Failure urn, you're going to pump some water and I really hope that doesn't cock everything up. Actually, we've got no working hours. <laughs> Maybe I should opt them. Do they? I don't know. I don't know how they work. I don't know how they work. Tell you what then, we'll turn all of them on, particularly if they're only going to work for three hours. And let's just hope the water lasts three hours. I don't want it to go brown, really. Now, sod it. I don't I want my beavers to die. We're gonna we're gonna up the working hours to 16. So they're pumping the water. Water's going back up. No beavers will die on my watch. Alright, that's good. That's good. I think I think we're fine. 
think we're actually fine. There's a lot of thirsty beavers about. Because we're pumping water, it's alright. You can actually see the level going down. Look, can you see that slowly going down? Nice, that's really cool actually. So you can visually see how much water is left. Cool, and we've actually made it. That's the end. That is the end. That is our final evening. Somehow we survived the dry season and the water is going to flow as soon as the sun rises. There you go, drought ended. Here it comes, regenerating the land. I never get old of that. It's like just really cool to watch. <laughs> like, ah. Oh. Right, meanwhile, Mega Dam project. What do we need for the Mega Dam? Oh, look, we got enough science points. Hang on, before we do the Mega Dam, let's research our engine. Yes, please. And then we're going to get one of these built up here. So we're going to have engine up that end, because I'm not sure if there's like pollution or anything. So we'll have to see. And then that creates power. So then out the back of that, we're going to have a lumber mill or two and a few gear workshops as well. So this is our proper industrial mining area. And we'll add more power if we need it. How much does that produce? 200. So the lumber mills are 50 each. And they're 120. So yeah, we're going to need we're gonna need another engine. So another engine in there. Beautiful. And then we'll just do paths out the back. So that they're all connected. So meanwhile, down here with the water flowing. I don't know how high this water gets. Oh, I guess actually the water will raise once we build the dam, won't it? Yeah. Okay, so for the dam then, we come into landscaping. We've got all different types of things. So we're going to we're going to do the levy to start. So we need 120 science. We need 20 more science, right? Come on scientists, where are you? Hawk Bear, Montana Williams, Blue Fire Wolf. Come on guys, get to work. Get me that science. Right, there we go. So we can unlock the levy. Yes, please. And essentially these completely block the water. So if we do that 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 so that's almost a full-on dam and then the top one that wants to be this a dam piece and you can see these have holes in the top so that allows the water to come out if i if i put a levee there then it means all of this area back here would flood um we, we don't want that we don't want that but uh, yeah that's the next project is that in range is the question they've already built the stairs down nice work beavers uh, yes it should be a range i actually built a dam in range <laughs> I've never done that before. And it also means we can select these trees to be cut down, I think. So we'll highlight all of you because these are now in range, which is good. And to be honest, we should probably do these trees over here as well. All right, so you can see our barracks are now complete. We've got homes for 70 beavers. We've only got 52 at the moment, so some of them are a bit empty. Uh, so maybe we'll turn back on the breeding pods because at some point we're going to have some death from old age. But <gasps> look, it's complete. That's going to store so much water. Excellent. That could really help us. We just have to keep an eye on the old water pumps and make sure we actually have enough. But that is good. All right, so the lumber mills are complete. That's pretty cool. They're working on the gear workshops. How are the engines coming along? We've got logs. we got metal blocks. We're just waiting on gears. Yeah, I feel like everything needs gears at the moment. But nice. I feel like that's a good place to stop, guys. Things are going really well. Surprisingly well. A bit too well. But yeah, if you're enjoying this series and you want to see more, please boost the old like button. And I'll catch you guys next time. Cheers. Peace, love, and incomplete mega dams. Bye, guys.